Well, this is a update since I've done one for a while. Um, as you can see, it's raining, we've got a storm coming in. Um, but even so, April or Terry, this is, this is actually my favorite weather. I like being down by the sea or even on a boat when the weather's like this. It's just, I don't know, it seems more natural. It's just something I've loved since I, since I was a kid. Um, I'm gonna phase this way a bit, try and keep the wind off the mic. Um, how things are going, we're still working on the residency stuff. I'm hoping to have some news on that next week. Um, all going well. Um, got my father coming over, picking him up from the airport tomorrow. So he's here on holiday because uh, he's found some nice stuff for his photography, some locations to head over and have some photography done. Because um, he, since he's retired, he spends most of his time doing photography now. Um, School, the kids are off school for three days next week, so that'll be entertaining. Try to do work and have the kids at home. Um, but one thing I have realised is just how much the kids love it here. Um, and it's one of the things some people just don't understand is why the, the kids' lives are probably more important than my own in, in many sense. Uh, because pretty much I do everything for them. Um, it's, it's pretty much all that really matters. Everything else can fit around it, you see. Um, it's a bit like my work. My work is ongoing. It looks like that could be running for four years. And that's just on this contract. You know, I want to stress something here. I, I work for myself. Um, I'm self-employed, you know, I work for myself and have done since about 1995, 97. Although I contract to different companies, I generally, 99% of the time, work for me and they're my clients. And I, that, that, I'm not in full-time employment with them. Um, I don't like being in that situation where companies can control your finances, but also you end up paying too much tax as well, which is something I detest. Um, because quite simply I find that people working these days pay way over the odds um, and it, it's not getting any better Brexit's not going to help with that I'll tell you that now but <coughs> oh, still down with the flu and I've, I've got to be honest I've done about two or three other updates but I've just deleted them this one I'm just going to upload I'm not going to bother with ed editing I'm not going to bother doing anything with it because what well, that's what's normally happening with the other ones I, I'll do that later and uh, being so busy I just haven't had time to do it but as you can see it's not the most photogenic time of year here at the minute it's um, it's nice to have the cold air though I like I like having that fresh air coming in off the sea is yeah I love it but everything's going okay in Spain. Like I said, once the immigration stuff's done, it'll all start dropping into place a bit more. Because um, it is the big hang-up for me. Um, because once the residency's done, I can take on more contracts and get more people doing work for me. At the moment, it's very restrictive because of the reliance on being in Spain while everything's ongoing. <coughs> but we'll wait and see. It's like everything here. It's you know a lot of the time things seem manana manana. It's always like tomorrow. No, no sense of urgency. Um, but we live and learn. One of the things I want to mention to people, which I I don't understand some people's logic that they assume there is only one way of living. Um, because the the way I do things is the way I do them. It's literally what I do and how I do it. Um, doesn't mean it's the only way to do things and that's why sometimes you get people with such a narrow viewpoint a, a, assuming that is it and I'm trying to project that that is the only way um, what I'm projecting is that it's possible what I'm projecting is that you can control your life um, you don't need people controlling it for you and, and living in nanny states which many countries are that's exactly what they do um, 
I mean, most of the people will put themselves moving off to Spain or the Philippines, wherever, will come from stopping themselves doing it because what if? What if this happens? What if that happens? And I've seen somebody's post today on Facebook about um, he feels that he wasted eight years in the Philippines. I always put it down to experience either way. Myself, I enjoy my time in the Philippines. I've got, you know, on reflection, would I have done anything different? I'd have probably done it 10 years earlier. Um, did I lose anything from the time in the Philippines? Absolutely not. Um, had some great times, great opportunities, and the fact is it opens your mind to other ways of life. You also become more realistic on what life is, you know, the hardships, the realities, the cost of living, what it really is. Um, that 99 times out of 100, you're probably better off than most of the people you bump into. <coughs> I'm not about financially, it could be multiple ways. Well, financially, it could be in one, medically, um, whatever. The, the, the point being, there's many people you'll come across on your travels. Um, I've had a pretty hard time in some form. I mean, it was, it was a couple of weeks back, I was talking to various people that you, you start to think, well, you know, even just medically, that we're be a bit better off. Um, a relative's going blind at the moment. She's been diagnosed with MS and got some, some of the, uh, the downsides with that. So you sit there and go, well, you know, that's pretty, that's pretty grim. Um, another person, their, their brother's seriously ill. Another person had to have a, a foot amputated. And you're thinking, well, just on the medical side, there's a lot of people in a lot worse scenarios than we are. And that, that's, that's the important thing is that it's a look at it from the upside perspective. That <coughs> doesn't matter how hard life can be, it's working your way through it, it's understanding that things can improve, it, understanding that you control everything. Because most of the people I know that haven't sort of progressed have decided not to progress because there's always a blame. There's always somebody else to blame for it. And you'll see that in some of the negative stuff people do on YouTube, or, you know, with the posting and the trolling. What have they achieved? Going around the internet trolling other people, and then when you look at them and go, what have you achieved? You know, you're sitting there with such a negative attitude and viewpoint and everything. Where have you progressed to? What have you done with your life? And it's not me being negative about that. It's quite simply just saying, you're doing it all wrong. You should be looking at what works for people and trying to put your own um, progressive life together rather than such a negative one. Uh, yeah, that's all I want to say on that, to be honest. But um, People trying to root around and find out what income I earn, just search for people that do what I do. You'll, you'll get an idea of salary scale, but bear in mind I'm a contractor, so I get a higher rate. Um, but also I run the, run the uh, surveyors, etc. So I get a higher rate. <laughs> so just bear that in mind, if you're that interested. <laughs> anyway, I'm off home. Just got back. So enjoy the Christmas if I don't do another update before then. Because um, we're in Christmas mode at the moment. Got our uh, Christmas decorations up and the kids are busy doing drawings and stuff on the other side there. So, catch you later.